Hi, I'm Mark Hatton, and this is In Leather, the show for the leather community of Melbourne and Australia. And with me today, I've got Vic Leathers Vice President, Andrew Lovett. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Mark. And I've got committee member, Steve Ali. How are you going? Good, thank you. How are you? Good. So today, guys, we're going to be talking about, um, how shall I put this, the hanky coat. It's, Indeed. It's, now, is it particularly something that's uh, for leather? Is, is it something that's come through the leather community? Yes, um, yes and no. Um, the hanky coat originally got its start um, back in like the old West days in America where in towns where there were too many cowboys and not enough women. So when there were dancers, often two men would have to pair up. Um, and so the way that um, men would kind of, um, I suppose, uh, identify who's going to lead in dancing is that they'll tie a hanky either on the left or the right hand side of their um, belt or on their jeans. Um, or what they're wearing, and that signified whether or not you're going to lead or whether or not you are not going to lead. And I suppose that translates into the history. I mean, I suppose it came into its heyday in the, what, the 70s and 80s? The 70s and 80s. It, it popped back up then, and it wasn't just in the, the leather scene particularly. It was more just in the gay and bisexual men. Um, gay sex wasn't legal, legal back in the 70s, mm. so you couldn't really say to somebody, you know, hey, do you want to go have some... Yeah. Um, so saying that you were into a little bit more of the kinky side of gay sex was a real big no-no. So what they did is um, uh, a code was developed. Um, and so it was um, wearing a hanky either in your back pocket, left or right, depending on the way you're feeling. Um, and different colours signified kind of what you're into. That, so, Steve, left and right, which is left and which is right? Oh, I always get this confused. I always, get I always confused have to too. check before I wear something out. You know. <laughs> okay. So, um, so left is top. Yep. And bottom is right. So left is active and well, uh, right is right pass is passive. passive. Okay. For those, yeah. For those playing along at home. And let's hope they are. So playing. coming into the modern day, guys, what would uh, does the hanky hanky code really have a part in today's society? Um, in, in Australia, yes, it does. It kind of certainly does when you're out maybe uh, at a leather, a leather bar or, or a leather function um, or a leather dance party, so to speak. Um, guys still, it's, it's great. Guys still um, have leathers with, you know, red or yellow or green or what have you, piping or, or colours. Yeah, I've seen that quite a lot, on, especially on armbands. Armbands, and, wristbands. Yep, wristbands, yeah. yeah. Um, and so it's still, it's not, um, it's, it's still around a lot, but it's not so much, um, it's not so much, when I say, it's not so much needed like it was back in the 70s and the 80s. Mm. It was, um, it's more really paying tribute to the way things used to be. Um, and because, you know, with the, a lot of the topics, a lot of the kinky are kind of more fetishy sex, we can talk about openly now, mm. whereas opposed to back in the 70s and 80s where you had to be, it was all underground. Yeah, and the whole thing is, I mean, I suppose with, like, dating apps in these days, it's quite accessible and people tell you what they're into and what they like. Yeah. But this, I suppose, is just that visual representation of, you know, hey, well, if you're into this, I'm your guy. Definitely. So... Let's talk about the colours, because you've got to talk about the colours if you're talk talking about the hanky <laughs> code. And I suppose the red and the yellow are the obvious ones and the famous ones. They are. Um, yellow being water sports. Mm -hmm. um, red being fisting. Blue? Blue. Orange. Orange is very popular. Well, what's blue? What's blue? Well, you've got to talk about what kind, <laughs> kind of blue. Kind of blue. Yes. Kind of blue. Um, this the, is... the blue we have behind us yeah. are all sex. And darker blue is fucking is it? I think so, yes. Yes. Yeah. So this can get very confusing. <laughs> it can. Um, I believe um, purple is for piercing. And I've heard pink is for nipple play. Yes, depending. Or can be. Again, what shade of pink? What shade of pink? Fuchsia, pink. Yes. Um, spanking. Um, and so orange, Steve touched on orange earlier. So oh, yes. Orange? Well, orange. orange is anything, anywhere, anytime. Anything goes. It's anything goes. It's an all encompassing hanky code. Oh my God, that's pretty full on. It is. So it's almost like we need a app that we can scan in the colour to find out what... We can. We and the, um, the, the hanky code has come into the 21st century with it us. Um, on iPhone and Android-based mobiles, you can get an app which will tell you which hanky code means what. So, and it's, it's getting... It's getting... It's getting involved. There's, I think there's about 70 or 80 there different is. hanky codes and different colours and different... Shades of colours and... I've heard ones like lace and leopard's print and all different types these there, days. There's so much out there. I mean, the, probably the weirdest one is a doily. So a doily? Pop a doily in your back pocket. Do you know what that means? Yeah, it's for drag queens. Oh, Seeking okay. Seeking drag queens. 
So a little bit of Kiki. Yeah, yeah so all right. So, um, and ha there's also like um, having a teddy, like a little teddy bear in your back pocket. Yep, also, so go going going away from the, the whole hanky thing to like actually having a little teddy in your back pocket. We well, see bears do that all the time, have mm. little teddies. Yeah. But is that just for cuddles, is it? Oh. You know, cuddles always lead to something else. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> kind of look good foreplay. Um, so the hanky code. Um, uh, so going forward, do you see do you see that this is going to develop more or fade out? What do you think is going to happen with it? Um, I think it will stay. Well, hopefully, it will stay where it is. I really like the fact that it's um, that even though it's not really required as it was or needed back when it was in the seventies and eighties, mm. I still like how we still kind of, um, we still have it mm. around. Um, it's, I think, for me personally, it's like, it's almost like a little bit of secret society business. It's kind of like knowing what color means what, yeah. where it's worn. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, like a secret code in, in, in fact. So um, I think it'll be, I think it'll st stick around. Yeah, I always like the fact when I see someone with a hanky or something, it's like, oh, so that's what they're into. That's, mm. that's interesting. And it's like, um, I mean, Obviously, you don't have to act on that, but it's nice to know. It's a, it's a great conversation starter when you can go up to someone and saying, so I see you've got a, a red hanky in your right pocket. Yes, <laughs> it would be a conversation starter, that one. Indeed. So do you guys personally use um, the colours at all? I do, yeah. I still, I've got a number of different coloured hankies sitting at home, which uh, pop in the back of the jeans when I go shopping or something. Just so at your local supermarket, you know, yeah. you can have the hanky pocking out, of out the back um, pocket. Where I live, there's a lot of um, nice gentlemen, so it's always nice to know who else is around. And I, I believe flagging is actually a term that was used. That, that this is actually mm, that's hanky right. coat or flagging. So you're flagging for a bit of fun. Well, not necessarily. My partner wouldn't like that, but uh, oh. you know, it's it's always nice to know if there's somebody out there who's uh, also interested in the same sort of things. Excellent, at excellent. Least, uh, if you see them at a party, you know what they're looking for. Well, uh, hopefully, people out there, you know, might get a bit more interested and look it up. But I want to thank you today, Steve and Andrew, for coming along. And this has been in leather, and we'll see you next time on Bet TV.